Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna do a small video on Riders Republic on how to boost your FPS. Brand new game from Ubisoft, uh, Sport Extreme game. It feels a little bit like Forza, but without the uh, Forza Horizon, without the car. So pretty cool game. It, it's kind of well optimized. So um, let's start with Windows. So the first thing. In Windows, make sure that you're writing game mode and make sure that your game mode is applied. Uh, really good uh, for the past six months. Good if you have a lot of different core on your CPU. Uh, you're going to make sure that uh, the game will run the best core that you have. So super important to run that. Xbox Game Bar, make sure that this one is at off. Uh, it's still causing stuttering, artifacts sometimes. It's a bit weird behavior with the uh, Xbox Game Bar, honestly. So I really recommend to remove that. And also, re I recommend to remove the capture from Windows. So background recording and recorded audio. If you have the latest, um, if you have like a NVIDIA card 1000 series or above, more recent, um, write graphics setting in your search and you will have something called hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Put this one at on. Uh, it will help you a lot. Uh, if you have like a low end computer, mid range computer, uh, it helps with bot bot bottleneck, sorry, and you can expect an, uh, an improvement of 3 to 5% boost in your FPS. If you have like a brand new computer or an high end computer, you will not necessarily see any difference with this option. Also, recommend to uh, update your software. So, Radian, Nvidia, Intel, go on their website, download the latest version. When you have big games from like company like EA, Ubisoft, whatever, um, it's really important to do that. It will help you to stabilize your FPS, to get more FPS, and also sometimes it will resolve uh, crash problems, stuff like that. Uh, one more thing, it's the energy, right? Energy, go to power option. Uh, I really, really recommend to go with balance or high performance. Don't go with power saver. Power saver is more like if you want to save energy or you're uh, currently on the laptop and it, you're, you're not plugged in the wall. So you wanna you don't want to use too much your battery. But this is something that you need to look at when you have a laptop. When you plug in the wall, look at your um, power option. Really make sure that you play, uh, you're at balance or high performance. I see a lot of laptop that are luck at power saver or some kind of like eco mode. Uh, so you're not running f the full capacity of the resources of the computer. So really important balance or high performance. Also, I recommend to uh, if you're still uh, struggling with your FPS, you can also overclock. I have dedicated a guide on my uh, channel. So uh, if you want to overclock your GPU, CPU, sometimes you can get a nice 10 to 12 percent boost in your FPS. Really depend on your hardware. Um, this is pretty much it guys. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game. So first of all, you have a cool benchmark that you can use when the game will be launched officially. So I really like uh, those company who make a lot of like you have a lot of different options in your uh, graphic settings, but also you can test them with a benchmark, a proper benchmark with a score. So it's really cool to do that. So first of all, window mode, really important. Go with full screen. I, I did a test in borderless or even window mode. Uh, I'm getting a lot of stuttering. So that's why I really recommend to play this game in full screen. Make sure that you're using the proper display. But anyway, you will see it. <laughs> uh, for the resolution, really important to play native. Yeah, so uh, if you have like a 2K monitor, 1080p, just go with your native resolution. Don't downgrade uh, your resolution. You will feel like your game is a lot like blurry and stuff like that. After that, brightness and contrast. This is more like a personal preference. If you don't like the way you see the game, uh, like too dark, too bright, you can definitely change your brightness and also your contrast here. For the refresh rate, super important to look at this. Uh, by default, it, it was at 60 and I have a 170 Hz screen. So uh, don't trust the game. Just select whatever refresh rate that you have on your monitor so super important for vsync i'm putting this one at off sorry uh really depend on your gear me i'm using a free sync monitor so that's why i'm putting this one at off uh, but if you have like free sync g sync just put this one at off if you don't like tiering when you play a game you can definitely put your vsync on if you don't have uh, free sync and g sync you will add a little bit of input lag but honestly you don't really care in a game like that so uh, you can definitely definitely put this one at on. Pix pixel scale is a bit like a render scale, so just stay at 100. If you're struggling with your FPS, you can definitely go at 90 
or 85 this is pretty much the maximum that you can downscale because after that your game will look a lot blurry for the extended fov i'm staying at the default at 100 and for the fps limit i'm just putting unlimited because i'm locking my fps at 168 to make sure that, that i'm staying in my range of free sync uh, i don't like those fps limit that you don't have a lot of choice like 30 60 90 and 120 normally just put me a slider and i will choose whatever i want so that's why i'm using the one from radiant software so let's go after that uh, you have the hdr option uh, i uh, put this one at off i have like some kind of fake hdr on my monitor it's not really good so i don't use that and now the graphic option so first of all the overall quality this one i'm using custom so we're gonna change everything by yourself so first of all shadow quality this one is really important ultra to low i'm getting a nice 12 percent boost in my fps this is pretty much the first setting that you need to test just lower your shadow and look at your fps because a lot of people uh if you're there, you're going like ultra to medium you can get a nice eight percent boost and now you're fine with your fps so we definitely look at this for texture uh terrain texture quality look at your vram here really depend on your video card um so if you have like three gig of vram you will definitely need to go at low and lower other stuff because you, i'm still at four gig but i'm running 2k so it really depends on your resolution also but definitely look at this and don't fool it like make sure that you have like a 10 to 15 percent uh, loose in your vram to make sure that everything will run properly after that you have the grass quality this one i recommend medium ultra to medium i'm getting a nice like seven percent boost so it's almost three percent for each bracket but medium to low i'm getting one to two percent difference so that's why i recommend medium it's a good spot reflection seems to take a lot of performance in this game uh so that's why i'm going with low i to low you not necessarily see more fps but it's more like uh you're gonna stabilize your fps so super important to put this one at low Snow trail quality is a bit like grass quality, a nice 6% boost, ultra to medium, but I didn't see a big difference to low, like 1% difference, so that's why I'm going with medium. Water quality, a bit like uh, a bit like snow, uh, snow trail, sorry. So high to medium, a nice like 2-3% to boost, and medium to low, a 1% uh, boost, so that's why I recommend to go with medium. After that, the anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing, I'm going with low. I feel like uh, it ultra, uh, the game is too blurry for me. So first of all, when you go at low, you will gain FPS. You will have a nice 5-6% to 6 boost in your FPS. But also, it will be more clear. But if you don't like um, the aliasing in this game, you can definitely run medium. It's a good like spot between both. After that, ambient inclusion, this one can give you a lot of FPS. So if we go high to low, you can expect a nice 8% boost. But at low, the game looks flat. So I recommend to play at medium and you will have a decent image quality and also a nice boost in your FPS. And is tropic filtering this one? Uh, normally, like if you have like a decent GPU, you can run 16 easily. If you run this game on a like like on a laptop with an integrated video card, definitely go with something like uh, X4. But normally, you, it should not be an issue, honestly, for you guys. The last one is the motion blur. I remove motion blur. I hate this effect in any game. It will not give you more FPS. But uh, you don't want the blur effect when you move rapidly, uh, your 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 guy or whatever game that you're playing. Just remove motion blur. It will help a lot with your visibility. So this is pretty much it, guys, for the guide. If you have any questions, just comment in YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.